Alright, what's going on, guys? Uh, Klamath Falls? Uh, where's this? Oregon. Oregon State released this, uh, this body cam footage, and I think they do some dash cam footage of an officer-involved shooting, uh, that was fatal. Yeah, this is actually pretty nuts, so let's read this. The Oregon State Police released footage of an officer-involved shooting in Klamath? Klamath? I don't know. Falls on April 10th, during which one man was killed and one officer was wounded. I don't think I'm alone when I admit my heart skipped a beat when I first viewed this video. Oregon State Superintendent Travis Hampton said in a written statement, I credit the professionalism and remarkable bravery of the Oregon State Police Troopers and Klamath County De uh, Deputy Sheriffs that brought this violent in event to an end. According to a press release from the department, at approximately 4.15 p.m., the Klamath County Sheriff's Office responded to a report of a domestic disturbance at the 1700 block of Fargo Street. The initial report indicated an intoxicated male later revealed to be Matthew Brennan Goff, who was trying to take his children. When deputies arrived, Goff was no longer on the scene. It, nothing I've read past this says that he doesn't have custody, that the wife has custody, or anything like anything like that. So, like, I'm not really sure what that is, but apparently they he didn't have permission to take his kids. So I'm not I'm, I'm not sure about that. Either way, when deputies arrived, Goss was no longer on the scene. Dispatch announced an attempt to locate the vehicle with description details that the suspect was possibly intoxicated, that there was a six-year-old child in the vehicle, and the suspect had an AK-47 rifle. A uh, short time later, an Oregon State Police Trooper, or an Oregon State Police Trooper, observed the vehicle, and a pursuit began near Bain Street, Bain Street, and Crater Lake Parkway, then traveling north on Highway 97. Units from the Klamath County Sheriff's Office and Oregon State Police were involved, and the vehicle attempted to elude, as the vehicle attempted to elude. Deputies deployed a spike strip on Highway 97, and the vehicle was brought to a stop on Wokus Road. Goff exited the vehicle and fired numerous shots at the officers. Law enforcement returned fire. One officer was injured, and Goff was declared dead at the scene. The child was unharmed. At the time, officers involved were placed on administrative leave. However, a jury has since cleared them of fault of the incident. The OSP has said that, uh, or said in a press release that they look forward to welcoming the officers back to work. Good job, guys. In a letter delineating its decision to clear the officers of fault, the jury praised the officers involved for their hand of the incident it's pretty nuts that the kid doesn't get shot uh, law enforcement continually places their lives at risk when responding to volatile domestic disturbances the letter read unfortunately there are times when a suspect's behavior and interactions with law enforcement officers to use deadly force for their own safety all right let's watch this it's only coming through the speaker on the right for me all right so it looks like maybe they try to pit him or something. I didn't do all the setting, and I couldn't find a continuous video of everything going on. So this is what we got. He's in the suspects in this. Uh, th this is a uh, unmarked. There goes fire. He's shooting out of the back. Now his kid's in the in the thing. <laughs> See, they tappy tap him there. This is the officer that gets shot right. Right there. That officer gets shot. I think that's the officer that gets shot. It's Henrik. Okay. <laughs> the kid in the back seat. So dad was shooting over his kid while they were shooting over his kid. If somehow... He makes it out alive. That's fucking crazy. Look at that. Nuts. There's the rifle that he had. Okay, so here's what I want to know. There's something I've been coming to uh, as a conclusion, right? All of these videos that I'm watching, those are my offer up stuff. All these, uh, all these videos that I put up, everybody ends up dead. Most people end up dead. And in a lot of the comment section, people are like, oh, the cops shouldn't do this. Have you realized that so far, every video, uh, video that I've posted where someone ends up dying, that person ends up dying because they're not following the rules. Like, we live in a social, uh, the, the world we live in, we have a social contract, right? 
and and maybe I'll make a video discussing that. But let me know, let me let me know what you guys think, like about the social contract, about these people whose interactions, and and it's like, oh, you know, we shouldn't be shooting these people. It's wrong for the cops to always use violence. No, no, no. These people shouldn't be committing crimes. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one.